And there goes the train. While I'm filming, it's probably worth saying we've made it to day three. And today we should be going to Hayden Hall. So what is really, really, really exciting about Hayden Hall is that our family actually descends from the families that lived in Hayden Hall. So I'm going to walk you through what we believe to be our family tree. So George Alfred Hayden, Hayden Best, was um, Sir Hayden, and he, he couldn't have kids, so he adopted two local girls, one of whom was called Alice Cockin, and she married um, Dr John Shaw, and had two children. One was called George, and the other was called John Reginald Shaw, who married Gwyneth Goodman. And then they had three kids called John, Claire, and June Shaw. And June Shaw married my grandpa, and they had three kids. One was called Robin, the other was called Martin, and the other was my dad. And my dad married my mom, Jan. And then they had two kids. One was my sister, and the other one was particularly wonderful. That's me. So I am actually descended from people who lived in Hayden Hall. So it's going to be really awesome seeing where my four ancestors would have lived. So that's quite cool. I think Dr. John Shaw is either my great-grandpa or my great-great-grandpa. Hang on, let me check. Right, so there's me, dad, grandpa, great-grandpa. Yeah, so Dr. John Shaw was my great-great-grandpa, and then Hayden, Sir Hayden was my... No, not Sir Hayden. Oh, Hayden Best. I'll just call him Hayden Best. Hayden Best was my great-great-great-grandpa, but not biologically, because obviously he adopted the two local girls rather than having kids of his own. So yeah, that's going to be really interesting. I think I just about caught the first one, but then I definitely caught the second train. Two trains just went past. There goes the train again. Another train. Another train. apologize for the really really bad quality of some of these train videos just a minute yeah I must apologize for such bad quality on these train videos but I really am running to my video run no running to my window attempting to switch from YouTube to Attempting to switch from YouTube to camera and then trying to get it rolling in the right aspect ratio while the train is going past. So I really am sorry that none of these train videos are particularly good, but I mean, trains? Train again. Another train. Ooh, I don't think I got that one on camera. Never mind. Ooh, maybe I got a blurry shot, but not sure. Another train. 
This is actually kind of fun. Presumably this is one of the main lines out of Birmingham, because obviously it goes to Snow Hill. So that's probably why there's a lot of traffic on the on the line. Either way, it's been very interesting to just watch all the different trains and, well, attempt to film them. Not to much avail, but there we have it. I filmed what I could. I mean, I'm, I'm saying this as if it's over. It's not. It's not. We've, we've got another day left, I think. Is it day or two days? I'm not sure. Either way, this is not the end of me filming trains just here. Not right now. Not just yet. We have arrived. Let's go and have a look. We're not even in the Black Country Living Museum and there's already a ton of like old buildings. Look at all of these. I'm really looking forward to having a look around this place. The gardens. It's gonna be fun. Okay, this is absolutely hilarious, I gotta tell you. We've just told some of the staff running Hayden Hall today that my dad descends from Alice Cocken and <laughs> <laughs> they all think it's awesome. I'm loving this. Yeah, there's these couple of guys who are really excited about this. We've also found massive, massive house for some reason. I mean, naturally, this being Hayden Hall, what was I expecting? Wow, can you imagine living somewhere like this? Incredible. Where's the railway though? Look at this lake. This lake looks amazing. And there is... Oh, what are they called? Are they... Are they swans or... Are they geese? Probably geese, I think. And then there's some ducks. A duck. Probably more somewhere else. Awesome. Now, this apparently was Hayden Best's favourite room, so much so that there is Hayden Best himself. Not really, it's a dummy, but even so. So these paintings of the pheasants were apparently painted by Alice Cockin, who was my great-grandma. Great-great-grandma. Thank you for the correction from my dad. So yeah, that's quite cool. We've worked out that playing the piano here, well not really, again it's another doll, but this is either Alice or Emily. So that's quite cool. So we're in the old part of the house. There's a very interesting old style mechanical clock here. So that's quite cool. I've just finished having my cake, which was when I remembered that I was going to film it. Never mind. Probably wasn't going to go so well filming just some cake, but that's it, I've had some cake. <laughs> We're inside Merry Hill. Look at this place. Largest shopping centre I have ever seen. Awesome. I have found some escalators. I'm also going to say now, before I forget, this place is where Jeremy Clarkson came to test out his P45 micro car. So that's quite interesting. I'm trying to find the place where he bought James May a present. We'll see. Hey, check it, the number plate on this thing says railway. <laughs> I think that's the place. I wonder if James May enjoyed his present. I'll have to check the episode later.
The architecture really is amazing. Absolutely fantastic. More Krispy Kreme. Nice. Boys play this, but men play this. Got to find one of these that smells like coal and put it in a model train. That is a Shelby Cobra ride on. Awesome. Something which I think is quite cool is they've left like glass on this lift so you can like. Now, actually, they haven't put like stuff hiding the mechanism so you can see the way the lift works. Look, watch. Just pulls them up. You see? Oh, they've realised I'm filming. <laughs> I found it quite cool. Where you can like see the way the lift works. I think it might have rained slightly and I didn't even notice. Then again, such is living in Britain, it always slightly starts spotting and then stops again immediately. You don't even notice it sometimes, just like then. Huh. Whoa, I think that was a Desiro, class 450, because I saw a um, either West Midlands trains or South West trains, probably West Midlands trains considering where we are, I saw that livery, oh here comes another one. I think that is a West Midlands Trains livery, but obviously the company has changed its name to West Midland Railway, as has Southwest Trains changed to Southwestern Railway. So yeah, it's cool to see like the way that um, privatised brands 
sort of change themselves because obviously they're not one big company and they all make their own decisions. It's hard to keep up with, but it's very interesting to see. We got fizzy fish. The bag's upside down because it wouldn't open at the top because the bag was weird, but we do have fizzy fish. Now, you may notice that I'm eating a lot of like chocolate and rubbish, but in my defense, I'm on holiday. I couldn't do what I like just this one week. Because I wouldn't exactly say I'm healthy, but I don't do random rubbish. I don't eat random rubbish like this all the time, just to defend myself a little bit. So yeah, back to waiting for the trains, I guess. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to say it, that is the most exciting thing I've seen whilst watching trains from this position. That was either a Class 37 or a Class 57, hauling some Mark IV coaches, I think they were, maybe they were Mark Threes. either way, some modern BR coaches, and a 91 on the back. That was amazing. I didn't get the camera rolling in time because I thought it was just a massive tractor coming down our street for some reason. Because obviously country boy, I'm used to that sort of thing. But no, the sound of that 37 or 50, whatever it was, the sound of that diesel hauling the train was immense. That was amazing. And there goes another train. Ooh, I was too slow to catch the start of that, but we got the end. Also, if my voice sounds weird, it's because I'm eating my fizzy fish. So there we have it. Look at that mini. Little blue mini. You can hear a growling engine note that sounds like a motorbike. That was that Mini. I really want a 2000s version of the BMW Mini Cooper as my first car. Because those things bang and pop like a popcorn machine. Awesome. And of course, the train comes past the minute that I shut the window so I can't film looking out of it. Uh, trust my rotten luck. <laughs> oh well, never mind. Still managed to film the train anyway. I'm really looking forward to tomorrow when we get to go in that direction on the train. We're going to get off at Snow Hill, go do some train spotting, maybe go to New Street, train spot there, and we're probably going to go see some trams as well. That's not classical trams, that's normal city trams. But either way, they're trams and modern trains, so that'll be cool. going to go and have a look around trains and trams of Birmingham tomorrow. So that'll be interesting to see. Fizzy fish are on the bed now, it's time for a Hot Wheels unboxing. Now I have ripped the packaging just so I can get it open with one hand, but this is the 2020 
Toyota Tacoma. It's in this lovely shade of blue, which I love, and it is part of the range of Hot Wheels Hot Trucks. And I agree that it is a truck, and it is hot. I love this thing. I especially like the colour. Gotta love a blue car. That's why I'm a Ford person, rather than Chevy or Dodge. I don't mind a Dodge, but... Chevys aren't that cool, really, in my opinion. I mean, if you like Chevys, then fair enough. You can like Chevys, but I would prefer to have a Ford if I had the choice. Anyways, here is our Toyota truck. It's awesome. I like how it's got painted lights at both ends, like it's got rear lights and then front lights. Please shout at me in the comments to keep this very carefully if it is extremely rare. But at the moment, I just like it because it's a cool Hot Wheels truck. Trying to get the camera to focus on that Tacoma. Oh. <laughs> Having issues with this. It's got Tacoma painted on the back really carefully. Then it's got 4x4. Four four. Now you can see on the bottom, actually I don't know if you can see on the bottom. You can see Hot Wheels on the bottom, but you can't see that it says, oh no you can see, just about 20 Toyota Tacoma. And it is 2021 Mattel. And yeah, it's just a really cool truck. Awesome. Man, that just really hurt my leg running to the other side of the house. It's pretty seeing the white, seeing the blue lights, sorry. Blue lights. Ooh, I had the lighting wrong. I only just worked that out. I could have made it so much darker. Well, never mind. Look at that sky. Look at that sky. Wow. I think there's a signal right there. I don't know if you can see a little green signal just behind the trees. I'm not sure if it comes across on camera, but I can see a little glint of green. A signal. I didn't notice that was there before until it was lit up at night. That's what's so cool about filming in the evening. It's all dark so you can see some stuff lighting up that you wouldn't be able to see before. That's why I'm trying to film the train with all the lights on inside. See if I can see one in a minute. Speaking of, there he goes, bring with the lights on, it does look pretty with all the lights shining out of the carriages, lovely. Okay, everyone, so I think we're going to call it a night. Um, tomorrow we're going to go and ride the train into Birmingham and do a bit of train spotting there. So make sure to stay tuned for that. And I'll see you in a bit. Bye-bye.